y'all. I'm Elisa, the Scrappy Wife behind ScrappyWife.com, and today I have a faith journal process video for you. I am still working through More Jesus, Less of the World from Illustrated Faith, and it is just, it's a beautiful, beautiful devotional. And there is a reminder in here that I really wanted to document in my faith journal. So that's the plan today. Um, I think I'm just going to do half a page. So um, I will work on that just a bit. Um, I have some different supplies from the kit pulled out. So I will make sure to link those down below. Um, otherwise, I'll put you guys on fast forward. Let's go. Okay, so I typed out the reminder that I wanted to take from the devotional and it says, you are beautiful for you are fearfully and wonderfully made and so very loved. Jesus will always meet you where you are and he desires for you to trust him to give you wellness for your soul and spiritual strength when you falter. Every step toward becoming more like him matters. That beautiful message in the devotional was just one that I really wanted to keep. So I typed it out on a separate piece of paper. Now I'm using some tattered, I think this is tattered rose or maybe milled lavender um, on the edges just to rough it up a little bit. And that will go right in the middle of my page. I wanted the focus to be on those words. And so what I'm gonna do is create kind of a border with stamping and with some of the paper die cuts and the acetate pieces that came in the kit. So I'm kind of just doing some random different stamping. I'm using a couple of different colors, the milled lavender, the tattered rose, just a really light look in the background. A lot of these stamps will end up getting covered up. I just didn't want it to be just paper. I wanted to add a little bit of stamping in the background. Um, I probably could have sketched out a little bit closer to where the different paper pieces were going to be so that I knew where the stamps were happening. But it's also really freeing to just play with stamps in this way. Like it'd be fun to make a whole background of lighter stamp colors and then just do your journaling over the top in like big black ink um, so that it really stands out and just have fun playing with stamps. It is um, really relaxing to just do them over and over. Okay. Now is the fun part of this idea. So I want to take this twine. It's blue kind of string twine. And my thought was I just wanted to focus on just how beautifully God knits things together and how things are so amazingly connected. And in some ways it almost hurts. Like they're, we're so connected. That's why we hurt when a friend hurts but they're so connected in that like God just does amazing things with the design of this world. And it was really um, something I wanted to focus on. So I'm taking the string, I put adhesive all around the edge of the page and then adhesive in the middle of the page. And I'm making this pattern of just coming in and out of where these words are going to be. And to me, it's representing just the beautiful way that God wove our world together. And I think it turns out to be a very cool texture, a very cool look to the page. In fact, I liked this look so much that I am very much uh, looking forward to trying it again in some different patterns. I think it just, it also reminds me of string art, which apparently is becoming really popular again. I see it lots of times with like kids projects and I've seen some kind of grown up versions of string art and it's, it's a beautiful texture. It's not going to add a lot of dimension to the page just a little bit because you're just talking string and I think it'd be fun to play with some different colors. So you can see I'm just working my way around the edge. Yes, there is still adhesive showing, but I do have a plan for covering that up in the end. All right, so all I have to do is cut off the string right here, and then I'm gonna take my words and add plenty of adhesive just so that it covers um, really well since it's going right on top of the string. And you can see that's gonna cover up all of the kind of loose ends in the middle. And then around the edge, you got so many paper pieces with this particular devotional. Um, even if you bought the digital version, you can print out all of those um, beautiful images over and over again. And so I thought it'd be fun to use them to kind of create a border all around the page and just like go 
at it with all of these gorgeous pieces. And I'm mixing in some of the acetate pieces with some of the paper pieces just to kind of change up the look. I love all the ampersands that are included with um, this particular devotional. And some of these are really big. So you can see they're going to stick out. Um, all I have to do in the end is just trim those off and then I'll actually be able to use some of the edges to cover up other parts. So some of them stuck down just fine because there was already plenty of adhesive showing. Some of the adhesive, some of the pieces needed a little bit more adhesive just so I was really um, sure that it would be secure on the page. And like I said, I was pretty generous just because it's over top the string and I wanted to make sure that nothing was going to fall out. But you can see these pieces are already pretty much stuck down. They really didn't need more. I did need more at the top, so I will add that as we go. And then what I'm going to have to do is come back and kind of cut off some of the edges and I'll be able to repurpose those edges that I have to cut off to fill in the rest of the border around all of these words. When I'm cutting things off the edge, I do usually find that it's easier to flip the page over. It was a little hard to turn the page because I wasn't ready to cut the right side. If that makes sense, the part that's overlaying the next page, I wanted to wait on because I still wanted to add a few pieces over there. So it was a little bit tricky to do the flipping and the cutting, but got it all done, trimming around the edges, rounded edges right here. And I'm saving all of these little pieces because I can bring them around again so I can use them on other parts. So doing my extra trim right here, I know it looks a little rough, but it all works. It all works out in the end, I promise, but it looks a little, a little haphazard going around the edge like this and you can see the um, journal entry I did last week with Kelly Vang's new set. All right so I have that. I definitely could have left it kind of flowing onto the other page but I want to fill in the extra open spot so I have the other part of the camera that'll be able to go right there and we're just going to fill in a few little pieces here and there. I have the very edge of these florals but I thought they would be great for kind of covering up some of the white space that was showing in this picture frame and I don't think there's ever a problem with more florals on the page and then we'll use the very edge of the picture frame that I cut off and we'll kind of use it over here to cover up this section and again I'm kind of wanting to focus on the frame part not necessarily the white that's showing. And this piece will fill in a few of the last little spots and then I have room for one more acetate piece. The last little thing that I will have to do is take a straight edge and my craft knife to trim off the pieces over on the side. I'll put that acetate piece down to cover up that last little bit and then trim it off. This is just a one page spread. It went really fast, but it was a great way to play with the supplies and then just to document how much these words had really impacted me that morning. I love it. On the opposite page, I'll probably end up doing something else with this devotional. I also could just journal, like I could fill the whole page with words and that would work as well. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and consider hitting that subscribe button as well as the bell notification button. I will link all of the supplies down below in the description box, so be sure to check those out. I want to give a huge shout out to all of my Patreon members. Thank you guys so much for all of your support. All right, I hope that you have a fabulous day and as always, keep it creative.